There are many ethical issues that uh, come to play when we think about artificial intelligence and particularly its deployment, how we use um, artificial intelligence. When we think about um, both computers and robotics, one of the top concerns might be the loss of jobs. Um, not just now blue collar workers, you might have a robot that's as capable of stacking shelves in a warehouse as a human, but actually can do it all day, all night, without stopping, and just do it repetitively. So clearly that will um, attack those sorts of uh, jobs uh, for, uh, for, for those sorts of workers. But um, artificial intelligence in terms of helping to make medical diagnosis or even coming up with a medical diagnosis is also going to be potentially displacing more skilled jobs, what we might call white collar workers. So there are ethical issues in terms of jobs. There are also ethical issues arising out of the limitations of current artificial intelligence technology, and that is that the data that is used to train artificial intelligence is often biased, it's not completely representative. Even if you thought it might be completely representative, then uh, there's always the possibility that, let's say, in a medical diagnosis situation, you could uh, be confronted with an unusual situation or a situation you haven't seen before. And then um, it goes into the area of uh, self-drive vehicles. Should we allow self-drive vehicles to make the decision about what to do in the case of a potentially fatal accident? And, and other areas such as um, transparency, how can we know what the decision was that this machine made? What was the, the uh, backtracking, the sequence of events that led to that decision? You can never know because uh, artificial intelligence is based on a concept of using, using uh, um, neural networks and uh, these are um, hidden, you can't see the uh, decisions that are made, they're just probabilities as you transition from one state to another in, in a neural network. So all you come out with is a probability that this medical image represents a tumour um, or it's only 5% likely that it represents a tumour, so it's a very low probability. So there are many, many um, ethical issues from jobs through to the extreme of do we allow machines to actually make decisions uh, on our behalf.